This is the story of an intelligent man. Gerald Blanchard. The savviest criminal mind. Yeah, cops, feds, Interpol, chasing him all over the world. He was like James Bond. James Bond. When's the last time you heard of anyone stealing a crown jewel? When I was a kid, I was very quiet and I kept to myself and I studied electronics and took things apart. But he's always been a little guy. He looks like a nerd. <laughs> Being poor in Omaha, Nebraska, is not the nicest place to live. Gangs were super prevalent. Things weren't good for us until I learned to go into the store and steal. He definitely liked the attention. It was fun initially, but became very dangerous and dark. Started branching out into different types of crime. He went from a small town thief to a money-making machine. If you could rob the banks, why not? I studied everything. As the bank is being built, he's putting ways to get in and ways to get out of the bank. I've never even heard of anything like this. We had banks calling us. In the dozens. And I was pretty good at it. <laughs> we formed a task force. I knew the police were investigating me, so I would always antagonize them. He sent me pictures just to kind of poke me. He was living the life. He had money, keeping company with beautiful women, the rich and famous. I could not fathom my son was living a double life. They're trying to chase me all over the globe. Cairo, Canada, London, Paris, Vancouver, and Austria. And that's when I saw the sissy star. He was committing crimes that were fairy tale like It was shocking because we couldn't explain how. He was brilliant. I could have stopped, but you always need that thrill. He's got himself into something. He didn't know how to get out of it. I knew I was smarter than them. The SWAT team showed up. I was terrified. It became imminent that we had to take him down. This is the stuff that movies are made of. Catch me if you can.